welcome to your next PB&J card class. Today I'll be making a set of cards using our Petty Black sticker set called Petals and Wings. And here's a look at that set of cards. And here's a look at the card that we will be creating in class today. To begin, I will take the sticker off of the sticker sheet and I'll lay that down onto a piece of white cardstock, lining up the bottom left side and bottom corner. And then I'm going to take my trimmer and just trim around this. So I always like to mount my stickers so that they have some strength when I go to use them on my card. And then for any areas that you may not have trimmed perfectly or lined up perfectly on the other side, if you just take a little bit of Distress Ink, I'm using Gathered Twigs, and just dab that along the edges. It will hide any imperfections or white that is showing through from that piece of paper we just put it on. Now I'll set that to the side and I'm taking a white note card and I'm going to begin blending several colors of Distress Ink together so that they match the sticker. So to begin on this piece I'm using worn lipstick starting off of the edge and working my way on and because I know I'm going to layer several colors I'm not too worried about it going on perfectly. Next I'll take dried marigold and I love how this makes just such a nice coral color. So you could leave it at this and have a nice spring color but I want to match it right up to the sticker so I'm going to add a couple more colors on. Next I'll take fired brick and for all of this Distress Ink application, I'm using the ink blending tool and the foam pad. And I'm just looking here for how it matches up to the sticker. I just want to add a little bit of tea dye around the edges and lightly over the top. And I'm just getting that along the edges as well. Now I'm taking a piece of white cardstock, which I embossed using the Sizzix embossing folder. And I'm going to ink that with peeled paint. So I'm just lightly going over the top with peeled paint. And then in order to create a nice match with the sticker again, I'm also going to go over this with Evergreen Bow. That's from the Christmas Distress Ink Collection, but I love it for an everyday color too. And I've cut this piece a little bit longer, so it doesn't matter there. I've got a little piece on the end to hold as I'm distressing. So I think that's a pretty good match for the sticker. I'm just checking there for size. And we're going to adhere this down on the card, lining it up on the bottom. And then I'll just flip to the back to trim off the excess. Now I'm ready to put on the sticker using pop dots. We'll just lay that on the card. And next we're going to begin making the banner that goes across. So to begin, this is white cardstock, which I'm very lightly inking with antique linen. I didn't want it to be really bright, but I don't want to dull it down too much, so it's just a real light layer. Then I'm going to stamp this with Penny Black Clear Set. I love these little small sentiments. And with the clear sets, I always like to use the VersaFine black ink to get the best impression. Now this piece again is cut extra long because it's easier to work with. Now here I'm using my trimmer and I'm going to use it as a scoring tool. So I'm just zooming in here so you can see that's the line where the blade normally cuts. But I can use that with my bone folder and just slide it right along that edge and it will score my paper. So I'm going to take this sentiment, I'm going to put it in at an angle and score straight down. I'm going to slide it up just a little bit and score again. Then I'm going to turn and do the same thing to the other side. And I want the direction of those score lines to be going the same. So I'm just eyeballing it. If it's not perfect, it's okay. So I'll line that in, score it once, and then score it again. I'll set my trimmer to the side 
and get ready to fold this. So on the score line, I'm just folding it on both of those lines. And there you can, you can create sort of a banner that looks like it's sort of flowing in the wind, just something a little bit different. And then this I'll lay across the card. And I'm just playing with here exactly where I want that to go. Now once I kind of eyeballed that, I'm going to add a dot here where I want the edge of that to be. Then I'll take my scissors and I'll just trim about the same distance on each side from the dot. Then I'm just going to cut from the corner up to the dot and down. And this helps me get roughly the same size of ends on the banner. And again from the corner to the dot and down to the other corner. I'm just fixing that a little bit. Now I'm ready to put this onto my card and I'm just going to glue this with glossy accents. You could use any liquid adhesive. I just have glossy accents on my desk most of the time so that's the one I grab and I do like that it has a nice firm hold. And you have a little bit of time to move things around and position them the way you want them. So I put some on the center and one dot on the edge and that helps you create a nice swoop to the banner where it goes down in the center and up on the corners. Then the last thing I wanted to do is just add a couple of punched photo corners. So I'm link, um, inking this with Antique Linen Distress Ink. And then I'll take my EK Success Punch and punch those out. And then I'm ready to glue those up on the top. And again, I'm using glossy accents, but you could use whatever kind of adhesive that you like. And then I decided I want to darken those up just a little bit, so I'll take tea dye Distress Ink and just dab that right over the top. And here's another look at that finished card. I really love using these sticker sets to create a whole set of cards. They're great for gifts or just real quick cards to have on hand. So here's another look at the cards I created using all the stickers on this sheet by Penny Black. watching for details and more information visit the penny black blog at www.pennyblackinc.com here are the supplies used and we'll see you next monday